Michaela Vernava alongside Doug Kide at Gillette Stadium, where the Patriots have squeaked by with a 36 to 33 win over the Houston Texans. And Doug, after week one, mm -hmm. Patriots lost to the Kansas City Chiefs. You said that your biggest concern was the offense. Is that still the case after seeing this game today? No, I think that there are serious concerns on defense. I mean, we'll see how they look when Dante Hightower comes back, but they did not look good against Texans out here. I think there are still some concerns on offense, though. I mean, what if Danny Amendola does go down? Then this offense probably won't look the same out there. I think that there are some concerns about the running game. How many times can you see the Patriots leave the field after a third and one where they don't convert on that play? But no, I say I would say that I've changed my, my bigger concern is the defense at this point. I think they can pull it together a little bit, but I can't see them being really nearly as good as they were last season at this can't, point. Can't be relying on Tom Brady and the offense to be putting up 36 yes. points every single week. And next week, they face a similar type of quarterback in Cam mm -hmm. Newton as in Deshaun Watson. They obviously had some struggles <laughs> against that mobile type of quarterback today. Do you think they can kind of fix that within this week that they have to prepare for the Carolina Panthers? Yeah, it's like they didn't get the memo that Deshaun Watson's really <laughs> fast and slippery and hard to tackle and <laughs> that he can run around a lot because they really looked lost out there at times but Devin McCourty did say after the game that they are going to critique how they played against Deshaun Watson. They will need to because they're playing another quarterback in Cam Newton next week. And I think that some of those mistakes will be fixed by next week. He even said that they fixed some of the mistakes from last week with the pick plays. So maybe if they just keep fixing one mistake at a time, then by the end of the season, this defense will be serviceable. But I think they will play at least better against a mobile quarterback in Cam Newton than they did against Watson today. In the meantime, can Patriots fans blame it on the heat? for today's close game? Uh, maybe. I mean, <laughs> random 90 degree weather does some crazy things. So and I think about think it, was... it in Texas. I mean, this is the kind of weather they have. Hot, humid, so they're and conditioned for it. It wasn't the best game, as Devin McCourty said, to be running after a quarterback like Deshaun Watson when it's it was 60 degrees all week. It's 90 today, and then they're running after a guy who can run a four or five or whatever. So, no, uh, I think that some of the craziness today can be blamed a little bit on the weather. Whatever helps you sleep at night <laughs> and keep it on Nesson.com for all your Patriots news.